Hi everybody, I'm Chris Silva, Executive Director of the Bardavon, UPAC, and the Hudson Valley Philharmonic. And we can't uh, be open right now to welcome you to this theater, but uh, we've created a streaming series called Albums Revisited, almost the next best thing. We take great albums, put together incredible array of artists who do original covers of every song on that album, and stream them out to you. It's on our YouTube at Bardavon channel, that's how you get it subscribe to it, we'll send you notifications, and you're going to see a little uh, highlight of our Bardavon.org website, that's where you go to donate, or you can go to our PayPal site, either way, go to Bardavon.org, press the donate now button, take your right to PayPal, we need the help, it's going to be a while before we reopen, and this is one way you can help us stay alive until that time, a portion of everything you give will uh, be shared with uh, People's Place in the city of Kingston and Duchess Outreach here in the city of Poughkeepsie. So do what you can. Thanks again. Enjoy the show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Bardavon's new streaming series, Albums Revisited. Uh, tonight, we're going to celebrate the 55th anniversary release of Bob Dylan's Highway 61 Revisited. Now, you might ask, why did we start with Bob Dylan? Well. I'm a lifelong fan, but Bob Dylan and his band has a long history of uh, rehearsing here at the Bardavon and at UPAC. First time they were here was back in 2006 when uh, Bob and the band were creating uh, new Bob Dylan songs right here on our stage. They went to New York City and recorded them, ended up being the album Modern Times. I got to be a fly on the wall during those sessions at the Bardavon and listen to Bob Dylan and his band creating new Bob Dylan songs. It was kind of mind blowing. Uh, there'll be more Bob Dylan stories later, but but coming up is a recording of Like a Rolling Stone. Dylan said that album changed everything for him, made him realize he could do anything. And I think he's proven that over the last 60 years. Uh, Jack DeJohnette, one of the greatest jazz musicians in the world, played with everybody from Miles to uh, Coltrane to Chikoria, Sonny Rollins, you name it. He's going to team up with John Medeski, who's a great, great keyboardist, part of Medeski, Martin, and Wood. Uh, he also is part of uh, Jack's uh, supergroup, Hudson, along with Larry Grenadier. Both artists have played both our spaces on numerous occasions, and we're very appreciative and very honored to have their recording uh, of Like a Rolling Stone like you've never heard it before. Take it away, guys.
Hi, I'm Stephen Lamarca, production manager for the Bardavon and curator of today's broadcast. These original performances were all created for the Bardavon by an amazing group of artists who I just wanted to thank for their, the donation of their time and generosity of their spirit for doing these. It's, we wouldn't be here today without them. Speaking of generosity of spirit, the next group, the Wait Band, really came into their own working with one of the most iconic and generous musicians of our time, our own local, Lee Von Helm, who we all love and miss dearly. The Wait Band comprised of members who played with Lee Von in the band, the Barn Burners, as well as the Midnight Ramble Band, which is just an amazing amount of musical history all created locally here in our area. And now, coming up, the Wait Band doing Tombstone Blues. One, two, three,
Hey, so these next guys are making their debut performance on tonight's broadcast, which is really exciting. Jimmy Vivino, music director of The Conan Show, is joined by bandmate Rich Pagano from The Fab Faux and legendary founder of the Love and Spoonful, Woodstock performer, and iconic Hudson Valley resident, John Sebastian. Here's the Darwin effect playing, it takes a lot to laugh, it takes a train to cry. One, two, one, two, three.
Hi, our next artist is Guy Davis, a great American ambassador of the blues. He cites his influences Robert Johnson, Bill, Bill, Br Big Bill Brunsey, and uh, Blind Willie McTell. His parents were uh, actors and civil rights activists Ruby Dee and Ossie Davis, also good friends with Malcolm X and uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Guy was going to be uh, performing on the stage at the Bardavon with the Hudson Valley Philharmonic this past March when everything stopped. He was going to be performing the words of Martin Luther King with the full orchestra behind him. And we look forward to doing that again sometime down the road with Guy, but we're very happy to have him as part of this uh, Dylan tribute. Here he is doing From a Buick 6. I got this graveyard woman, you know she keeps my kids. But my soul for mama, you know she keeps me here. She's my junkyard angel. She always gives me bread. Well, if I go down dying, you know she bound. Blanket on my bed. But when the pipeline gets broken and I'm lost on the river bridge, all cracked up on the highway and in the water's edge, then she comes down the freeway, ready to sew me up with a bread. But if I go down dying, you know she bound to put a blanket on my bed. Uh, it's great hearing all these in, uh, Dylan interpretations uh, from all these great artists. Um, I got to mention that the second time Dylan was here, uh, he struck up a conversation with me uh, out of the blue. In fact, we had several conversations in that week, and, uh, I, and it was kind of incredible. Uh, he was most interested in things like city planning and uh, gentrification. I mean, given that he travels the world, he sees it all. We also talked a bit about what happens after a hurricane. Um, to cities and you know who gets fixed first and all that kind of stuff. He was very present and uh, it was a huge pleasure for me to be able to talk to him. Um, this next artist is also a great inspiration, Steve Earle. Uh, he was also inspired by Bob Dylan uh, throughout his career. In fact, there's a great uh, New Yorker video that you can get right now online with uh, uh, Steve and Lucinda Williams, who will be performing a little later in this tribute uh, talking about their inspiration, uh, including Dylan, and performing. It's, it's really worth checking out. Here's Steve Earle doing Ballad of a Thin Man. Say, who is that man? 
try so hard, but you can't understand just what you say when you get home. Something is happening here, but you don't know what it is. Is this where it is? Somebody points to you and says it's his. And you say, What's mine? Somebody else says, Well, what is? And you say, Oh my God, am I here all alone? Because something's happening here. You don't know what it is. Do you, Mr. John? Go to watch a geek Who immediately walks up to you When he hears you speak He says, how does it feel To be such a freak And you say, impossible As they hand you a bomb Something's happening here But you don't know what it is Mr. John You got many contacts Among the lumberjacks To get you the facts When someone attacks your imagination Nobody has any respect Any way they already expect you To just give them a check For tax deductible charity Organization been with the professors they all like your looks with great lawyers you have discussed lepers and crooks yeah, you've been to all the F. Scott Fitzgerald books you're very well read it's well known oh, something's happening here and you don't know what it is Where the sword swallower comes up to you, then he kneels, then crosses himself, clicks his high heels. Without further notice, he asks how it feels. He says, Here's your throwback, fights for the long. Something's happening here, you don't know what it is, do you, Mr. John? Now you see this one-eyed midget shouting the word now. You say, for what reason? He says, how? What does this mean? And it screams back, you're a cow. Give me some milk, but let's go home. Something is happening here, and you don't know what it is. Will you, Mr. John? Will you walk into the room? Like a camel, then you frown To put your eyes in your pocket Your nose on the ground There ought to be a law Against you coming around You should be made to wear earphones Something is happening here And you don't know what it is Do you, Mr. Jones?
Hi everybody, welcome to UPAC. I just want to remind you that we're hoping to reopen UPAC and the Bardavon in 2021, but we're going to need a lot of help. Uh, go to bardavon.org, you can push our Donate Now button, it takes you right to PayPal, or hang around the side a while, see what else we do. Donate as much as you can. Uh, a piece of every dollar will go to People's Place here in the city of Kingston and uh, Duchess Outreach in the city of Poughkeepsie, doing a lot to feed the hungry during this difficult time. So, enjoy the show. I'll see you later. Her band Buick Six got their name from the song you just heard Guy Davis do in a kick version of a little bit earlier. But what else can you say about Lucinda Williams? Her amazing songwriting and one-of-a-kind vocals have made her a Bardavon favorite as well as a personal favorite, and I'm really excited to have her joining us here today. Uh, Lucinda was one of the first to sign up for this project as well as for our upcoming stream of the Grateful Dead's American Beauty celebrating the 50th anniversary release date of that album on November 1st. You're going to be hearing a really amazing lineup of artists that are taking place in that pretty soon and we really hope that you tune in for that as well. So please, I'm very happy to welcome Lucinda Williams doing Queen Jane approximately.
We first met our next guest, Kate Pearson, when the B-52s rehearsed their Cosmic Thing tour right here on stage at UPAC back in the late 80s. Kate's been a great friend to the theater over the years and has appeared at the Bardavon as part of our Winter Solstice series and back here at UPAC with the B-52s as well. Today, she's joined by the Restless Age, uh, the Hudson Valley's premier rhythm section that's been playing with people like Donald Fagan, Graham Nash, and a host of others, as well as creating some of their own really inspired original music. Please welcome Kate Pearson, the Restless Age, doing Highway 61 Revisited.
Uh, Happy Trom is a great friend of this theater. Uh, he's played at both the Bardavon and here at UPAC many times uh, for benefits and uh, great programs that he's been a part of. Uh, he's just a great guy. I think he's a Bardavon member as well and a supporter of ours. Um, he came out of the 1960s Greenwich Village folk scene, as did Bob Dylan. In fact, his first recording uh, was on an album with folk uh, artists, including Bob Dylan, Phil Oaks, and Pete Seeger. Be a fly on that wall. Uh, he is joined in this recording by uh, two great multi-instrumentalists and uh, wonderful local artists who we all love, um, Cindy Cashtaller on pedal steel and Larry Campbell, who of course toured with uh, Bob Dylan and, and, and played in the studio with him for seven years, and likewise for seven years uh, toured with and played with in Woodstock, uh, Levon Helm, and produced uh, a couple of Grammy-winning uh, albums of Levon's towards the uh, end of Levon's life. Um, here they all together, uh, Happy, Cindy, and Larry playing Tom Thumb Blues. Black 
so kind at first, but left looking just like a ghost. I started out on Burgundy, but soon hit the heart of stuff. Everybody said they'd stand behind me when the game got rough. But the joke was on me, there was nobody there to even blow. I'm going back to New York City, I do believe I'm happy. Uh, the last time uh, Bob Dylan and his band uh, rehearsed with us was uh, right here at UPAC just last year uh, on this very stage. Um, they were here for four or five days and uh, they did a few Grateful Dead tunes, as I recollect. It was great to have them here, as always. Um, and the last time I saw Bob Dylan was uh, his concert run at the Beacon Theater uh, last year in December in, at the, in New York City. Uh, I went to the second to the last show, and it was extraordinary. Um, it was almost like a, a curated art piece. It was so beautifully put together. It was really one of the best concerts uh, that I've ever seen. It was very inspiring. Um, and that was actually the second to the last concert uh, that Dylan did before COVID struck. Um, anyway, our next uh, artists are Mike and Ruthie of the Mammals. Uh, they played with us in different combinations over the years. I remember that Ruthie did a beautiful version of um, I'm So Lonesome I Can Cry as for part of our CD, uh, part of our CD back then. Anyway, here are Mike and Ruthie of the Mammals doing Desolation Row. They're selling postcards of the hanging Pain in the passport's brown Beauty parlors filled with sailors And the circus is in town Here comes the blind commissioner They've got him in a trance One hand's tied to the tightrope walker And the other is in his pants And the riot squad is restless They need somewhere to go Lady and I look out tonight for a desolation road. Cinderella, she seems so easy. Takes one to no one, she smiles, sticks her hands in her back pocket. Betty Davis style. And here comes Romeo, he's moaning. You belong to me, I believe Someone says you're in the wrong place, my friend You'd better leave And the only sound that's left After all the ambulances go Is Cinderella sweeping up on Destination Road Filthy keeps his world inside a leather 
America. And all his sexless patients, they are trying to blow it up. There's nurse, some local loser. She's in charge of the cyanide hole. She also keeps the cards that read have mercy on his soul. Head out far enough on Desolation Road There's an Einstein disguised as Robin Hood With his memories in a trunk Pass this way an hour ago With his friend a jealous monk He looked so immaculately frightful As he bummed a cigarette Sniffing drain pipes while reciting the alphabet. We would not think to look at him though he was famous long ago for playing electric violin on Desolation Road. On her 22nd birthday, she already is an old maid. To her death is quite romantic. She wears an iron vest. Her profession is her religion, and her sin is her lifelessness. And all her eyes are pressed upon Noah's gray rainbow. She spends her time. Peeking into destination Road. And across the street they've nailed the curtains They're getting ready for the feast The phantom of the opera In a perfect image of a priest They are spoon feeding Casanova To get him to feel more assured self-confidence after poisoning him with words and the phantom shouts to the skinny girls get out of here if you don't know Casanova's just being punished for going to desolation and at midnight all the agents and the superhuman crew Everyone who knows more than they do And they bring us to the factory With a heart attack machine Strapped across our shoulders And then the kerosene It is brought down from the castles By insurance men who go Check to see nobody is escaping to Destination Road. It prays be to Nero's Neptune. Titanic sails at dawn. Everybody's shouting, which side are you on? Is her pound in T.S. Eliot? They're fighting in the captain's towers while Calypso sings. Laugh at them and fishermen hold flowers And beneath the windows of the sea Where lovely mermaids flow Nobody has to think too much about Desolation
Yes, I received your letter yesterday About the time the doorknob broke When you asked me how I was doing Was that some kind of joke? All these people that you mention I know them, they're quite lame I had to rearrange their faces Give them all another name A lot of people don't know that Highway 61 Revisited originally was going to have another song on the album. And it was recorded in the studio with Mike Bloomfield and uh, Al Cooper and the whole gang, but it never made it to that record. But it did come out that December with a whole nother set of guys who later became known as The Band. The Band. The song is called Can You Please Crawl Out Your Window, and today it's being performed by Laura Stevenson formerly of the music collective Bomb the Music Industry. And Laura's grandfather wrote The Little Drummer Boy. Very Pretty cool. cool. Pretty cool. Very cool. Here's, Here's Laura. Here's Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you all for uh, tuning into this broadcast tonight. Um, it was pretty cool. Uh, in particular, I want to thank all the wonderful artists who contributed their uh, versions of these Bob Dylan songs. They were all amazing, unique, and wonderful. Uh, I want to thank the musicians as well as the uh, uh, production team on the musicians, musician side, the editors, etc., that helped put these videos together. Um, and, and on our side, I want to thank in particular um, uh, Brian Whitney and uh, Tom Rosato on the production side for uh, making everything look and sound so good and be edited together. And on our social side, uh, thank you to Chris Koniak, Ray Legrand, and Brian again uh, for getting it out there so all of you could enjoy it. Um, I do want to remind you of our PayPal link. Uh, link. Click on it. I hope you were inspired to support us with these uh, great performances tonight. Um, a dollar, two dollars, twenty, fifty, a hundred, whatever you can give uh, will help us maintain our operation until we can open again in 2021. And again, a portion of whatever you give will be distributed to People's Place in Kingston, Duchess Outreach in Poughkeepsie. I want to remind you also our next uh, streaming uh, albums revisited tribute will be to the Grateful Dead's uh, American Beauty. Uh, that will be on November 1st, and so far musicians that are supplying videos include uh, Yor McAlkinen, uh, another great friend of the Bardavon, I must have played there 15 times. Uh, Jorma Kalkinen, who else? Railroad Earth, Lucinda Williams, Simon Lafelice, um, uh, Daughter of the Buffalo, uh, Moon Alice, Doobie Decimal System, and um, that's all I got right now. There'll be more added. Thanks again for visiting our YouTube site. See you next time. Stop all your weeping and swallow your pride.